Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I can still remember the arcade machine Turtles at my local mall, Turtles and Turtles you could hear this blaring throughout it, like, Turtles every once in a while. The thing that's impressive to me is that... Oh yeah, that's right. You have to press that. Oh shit! Well, uh, everybody else. Uh, um, I thought everybody else was like already coming in. I think you just press yeah. start and just come in. How do I do that? Um, uh, just give me a I was second. Say, what's the insert coin button? Uh, it's the start button on your. Oh, press um, press enter. In and insert then coin. and then afterwards, hold on. You're putting in too many. Uh, press, uh, one of those first keys, um, Z, X, Z, or V. There you go. Alright. Oh uh, my who, god. So who was the, who's the third player? I'm, I'm Mikey. Oh, you're laggy? I said, said I am Mikey. Oh. So, I think Shoko will get Donatello. Wait, I, I'm very confused. Press enter. Okay. There we go. All right. there, there, go. there we go. Okay, so I gotta keep an eye on who I am. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm uh, Leonardo. Oh, oh yeah, that's there right. There's some rolling balls. This like gives me flashbacks, like going to this Pizza Hut and playing <laughs> a little arcade ball. machine. Yeah. Ow! I'm getting surrounded here. I'm also, super um, happy. Okay. The pizza. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. So also the other thing is, if you're getting your ass kicked and you're getting game over a lot. You can just always press uh, enter for more lives. How do I? Wait, we never. Fi I never figured out the movement controls again. Hold on. Okay, everybody, stop. Get the the, the, the Z, uh, X, arrows. Z. Yeah, the arrows. It's actually move. the arrow keys for moving. Yes. And then Z attacks, X jumps, C does a move. Oh, okay. Yeah, that seems to be all of them. All okay, right. so. Okay, now I know what the controls are. <laughs> all right. All right. So you ready to kick some ass? Um, or did I say that too soon? <laughs> <laughs> nah, who cares? No, we're oh, past wait. the thirty second. Wait, we're past wait, thirty wait, second no, point. You I can say this on YouTube. You, you've got the monetization to worry about. <laughs> yeah, because YouTube can't grow up thicker skin. Oh man. Ooh, oh, oh, I saw language. something. Go ahead. I, I, so something hilarious I saw was that so the Fiona and Cake series, which is being which is uh, being advertised towards like older audiences, right? Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. So the trailers for Fiona and Cake, the algorithm has been flagging them for kids. That's so funny. Are you funny. serious? Yeah, like the official trailer is released by like Max. Like it's like yeah, no. It's nice to see that like big companies have to put up with this horse shit also. YouTube, like, okay, like, I'm not even gonna say YouTube, I'm, this is just, oh, dear God. I, I think this is starting to become a bit of karma, because, uh, advertisers are just, it's not even advertisers, just YouTube is being so picky over everything, but also there's, like, disadvantages, and there's bias involved, there's favoritism. <coughs> Excuse me. Like, and the rules change on a whim, like... What the hell is going on with the game? Oh yeah, lag. Oh no. Um, oh no. Get get what? Bear with it. Bear with it. No game, please. Oh, no, game, no. please. Game, please. Game. Game. <laughs> game. Game. There we go. Okay, we're okay. This is... Damn it. And I died. I'm back to life. Back from the grave, um, son of a bitch. Damn it. <laughs> no, like the last thing that I will say on is like like LS Mark, like he did a uh oh. Oh no, we need players. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. Shredder, no. Oh great. The damsel in distress like, sword. I like how one of us wasn't on screen. Yeah, I guess Shoga had to get back in. Like, oh wow, this is chaos. 
Oh, this will be a story to remember. A time when the four of us had to fight through. Gula, sucker! He says that in uh, Turtles in Time. But, um. <clears throat> Great, I lost my train of thought. Oh, I fell in the sewer. Oops. And now he dines with turtle soup. Is there even such thing as a turtle soup? I'm Let sure. Me, I'm, I'm pretty much sure he's there, right? there is. Yeah. Let me look it up. Uh, what are you asking about? Turtle soup. Oh, is that a real yep, thing? Yep, it's an actual oh, yeah, turtle thing. Turtle soup is an actual thing, yeah. Okay. It's called terrapin soup. It's a stew made out of the meat of turtles. Uh, Lovely. It is. It, it mostly originates from China, from like the Asian countries. Oh, China, dear Malaysia, God. That's Taiwan. horrible. I, it all makes sense because of what Shredder says. What ethnicity is Shredder? I mean, I won't lie, it looks kind of tasty. There, there is apparently some too. It's apparently also made here in the U.S. Can I have some soup? Alright. No! Get off me! Don't Tonight, me. Ryza dies on, dines on turtle soup. How do you guys get up there? Uh, Jump. you just press up. Jump. Hold like, up, hold up, and hold X, and then jump. Wait, there you go. Oh, we have to jump oh, down, wait, wait. don't we? But now we gotta go down. <laughs> oh, we have to go down here. Okay. Well, Did maybe a get... future reference if you want to play this game. Now you know what to do. Oh, yeah. Teenage yeah. mutant alien turtles. Teenage mutant alien turtles. Fly that was gonna be a thing when Michael Bay took over. Kick in your face. Nobody it, talks man. about that. <laughs> yeah, but then the outcry was like too much, and they had to go back on that. I remember there was like there was one script for like the first movie that got leaked, and I think like the speculation was that one of the producers of the film or like somebody that was in charge of the studio purposefully leaked it because they hated it so much. That makes sense. Yeah. Ow! Jeez! I should have like, found that was... coming. I keep falling straight into it. Oh. They found a the lot of his long lost sister, Rebecca. Like, I remember I remember seeing the stories that were written on that initial script where like You've got enough. <laughs> the turtles were like the turtles were supposed to be originally from Dimension X and that they wouldn't get their weapons till near the end of the movie. Oh. No. Um, no, no, no. They, yeah, they were, yeah, yeah. From Dimension X, they were aliens. Yeah, they were aliens. Yeah, and then like once the at the end of the movie, <laughs> once they got their weapons, they would all go to different parts of the globe as like the guardians or something. Like real what? stupid shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's no. just and, like my theme song. Can I, <laughs> can I stop? Stop. It's stop. like, look, if they wanted to pull the whole we're going to do an interpretation thing, oh fine. <laughs> That's what comics are for. But don't deviate too far from the formula. Yeah, no. No, but my original story, though. Then Find your, your own source original. material. Yeah, Michael Bay says that when literally 99% of his moves are just kabooms. But, Not hear me out. Hear me out. Oh, uh -oh. mutant alien turtles. <laughs> Rise up. Uh. Actually, when you think Permission? about it, his little uh, his little uh, sing along kind of got the game back rolling because we had another freeze frame. <laughs> nice. I was about to. I was literally about to say, "Can I turn Riza into turkey then?" Why? Find your space. Kick in your face. Um, okay. Proceed to turn Riza into chicken. I know. Like one of the things with the first Bay movie was that. The reason that Shredder was barely in it is that's kind of a holdover from something that they wanted to do originally where instead of the traditional Shredder that we're all used to, you would have had this American colonel military asshole named no. Colonel Schrader. No. I don't think it was that. Yeah, that was Bay's original idea. No, I thought the original idea was that the uh, the old white guy that Megan Fox's character is like... Who's Billy Bob. like they, they originally weren't going to have the J the Japanese shredder that oh. was going to be in like the sequel and stuff like that. They're originally gonna have that like white guy basically pilot a mech suit for the shredder, yeah. thing, which is basically what they did with the Japanese guy anyway. Wait, guys, hold but... on a second. Those things don't heal the entire team, do they? The no. pizzas? Shit. I don't think they do. 
Uh, well, no, you can also yeah. you can also press enter for like more lives anyway. Yeah, but also you know that was the whole thing with this game of like the etiquette of yo person with the least amount of health should get the pizza, or if your brother was an asshole and was like fuck you I'm gonna get the pizza like no I want it like I need it it's like no I I get it. It. That, that was my brother all the time like <laughs> okay so. Uh, well, uh, and to give a short little example of mine, so Acharki, I know that you don't like the game, but we used to play Arrow Fighters Assault a lot. Um, in the um, in the multiplayer like versus mode, you could uh, you could, like you have this feature where you can have like unlimited weapons of some sort. Every time he starts it up, he barely gives me a second to like turn them on, and then he goes to like uh, the player select. Doesn't give me a second. Yeah, that that's just a dick move. Yeah, it is. Like move, dick. Or in Smash Brothers, whenever I was Mario, he would force me to play the Wario color scheme. Okay, that... It's like, I don't want to play Wario, I want to play Mario too bad. Like, F you, I'll play whatever color scheme I want. Like, <laughs> damn. To be, to be fair, Wario is kind of pretty fun to play with, especially if you're oh, playing... Oh, Wario um... Land is fire! Yeah, like, for oh, me... Absolutely. I haven't played Wario Land. I have to get. I have to play it at one point. But I did play um, Super Mario sixty four DS, and I actually found myself playing um, with Wario more than the other character. Oh, oh I played shit, the shit. I played away. the hell out of Luigi in that game because of that that broken back uh, uh, jump he could do, where he like helicopters down. I like basically Yoshi. made most of Mario 64's uh, levels basically trivial at that point. See, I've, oh, I've played Wario World as well as Wario Land 3. They're both pretty oh. fun. Oh, yeah. Uh -oh. Um, I played the mini games on there more than the actual game. I, yeah. can, I can see why a lot of people enjoy Mario 64 on the uh, the DS port because they have like the different characters to play as. My personal gripe, for some reason, they made Yoshi the main protagonist, which didn't make any sense. It's supposed to be centered on Mario. Is this a like crowning title? I mean, Yoshi's they, cool. they were they made sense of it because in the original game he was hit, sitting there on the roof. So like Mario and these other guys go back in the castle and they get lost. And he's like, "Well, I'm just sitting here on the roof. Might as well go in and find him." You know? Oh, okay. That's not a reason to just make him the central focus. Ow. It's a but Mario is... game. You play Mario I mean, to be primarily. fair, I mean, I didn't. You find I, mean, I, didn't have, I mean, I didn't really have a problem with uh, playing as Yoshi in the first part of the game because it made you at least, it kind of pushed you at least to go, okay, I have Yoshi, I'm going to have to play the game to actually find Mario, and then I could switch the character. Well, even then, I feel like, even then, like, at the end of the game, Yoshi is the one who's thanked and everything, and it just seems like, well, everybody else also pitched in. Well, I suppose. It, it just felt off that they did that. I don't remember that, but I haven't played that game in years. Okay, so you remember I... the original Mario 64 when Mario stay like looking in the distance on the bridge before his name is called from Peach? Uh -huh. Well, that was that was Yoshi in the DS port. I'm just like, mm. why? It's just it... Woohoo! Like because he's here. Woohoo! The 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 biggest thing I always thought was weird with the sixty four like and I get like it's still an impressive port on the DS considering like you know the kind of game that that uh, Mario sixty four is but the thing that was always weird to me like it was very clear proof of like oh this is why analog sticks matter because having yeah. only a D pad on this thing uh, <laughs> like I I played the shit out of that when the DS first came out but going back to that nowadays I'm just like yeah and you think they would it would be easier if you put it in the in the uh, 3DS with its like analog switch yeah. but no it's still just locked to eight directions I mean yeah I get the smooch that <laughs> rubs me the wrong way. I'm sorry. They're teenagers. And they're I mean, turtles. It's not like she's making out with them. She's just kissing them on the head. It's you know just... what? Fair. I remember in the cartoon, uh, one of the characters had feelings for April. I don't remember. Like, yeah. Okay, yeah. 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 A lot of cartoons for one of the, cur one of the oh, turtles has okay feelings then. for April. We... Yeah, no. Okay. I'm not okay with I that. Apparently you timed that jump pretty well. So... To quote Cell Specs, 
the whole trope of like Why do April they have being the, the whole trope of April being a romantic interest I think needs to die. Like I need I, they need to get yeah. rid of that so bad. If I'm being honest, I've always thought that April was the same age as the turtles. Ow. 